Les agricultures du monde représentent une part énorme. Agriculture across the world counts for a huge part of the world economy, especially for poorest countries. L'agriculture doit enfanter. Agriculture is facing huge challenges in terms of food safety and more recently. We are now talking about uh, energy, health, environment, protection. Agriculture is at the heart of a number of uh, very important stakes and challenges. And obviously, with the end of fossil fuels looming on the horizon, we will have to find uh, other more sustainable ways to produce energy. And the agricultural biomass is possibly a resource that we're going to have to count on for energy, for biomaterials, for bioproducts. Chemistry is going to need agriculture to uh, supply um, raw materials. In the coming decades, uh, agriculture will need to produce more. We have no alternatives. Agriculture must be intensified. And for this, obviously, things should not be done at random. Agriculture will need the help of uh, ecosystemic services, and it must revise the way performance is measured. With these uh, very simple graphs, I'm trying to explain the difference between the two paradigms of uh, conventional intensification and ecological intensification. Conventional intensification is what we have seen in the Industrial Revolution in Northern Hemisphere countries, the Green Revolution in Southern Hemisphere countries. It's agriculture based in, essentially on input, and very little on natural resources and natural functionalities, and entirely centered on production and biomass. It generates very few positive externalities, but many negative externalities. This is the graph you have uh, on the slide now, with a huge connection between the volume of inputs and the volume of biomass produced. The new paradigm that will, should be adopted to intensify agriculture is a paradigm that consists in using ecosystemic services, biodiversity, in order to intensify production. Again, input is going to be used, but to a lesser extent, whereas uh, ecosystemic services will be amplified and used more on the plot and around the plot for the benefit of biomass production, but also for the benefit of uh, positive externalities, ecosystemic services, while trying to decrease and mitigate negative externalities. In other words, agricultural performance will no longer be only a performance measured on the crop or an economic performance for a product that can be sold, but it will be a performance combining crop, economic performances, and services supplied to other ecosystem components, and especially provided to human well-being. Now, we're going to have to work on this change of paradigm. In a nutshell, intensifying agriculture with biodiversity means that we need to amplify the ecosystemic services provided not only to produce biomass, but also to control pests and attackers and control the soil better. These three compartments of biodiversity have, are what we have covered during this series of presentations. All in all, we're going to have to think about changing the trend towards simpler cultivation systems to make them complex again, but in order to improve biodiversity and biodiversity services. Our services have been simplified, made uh, more artificial to provide very high yields. We're going to have to go back, make them more complex, introduce new species so that they will be performing both in terms of yield, but also in terms of uh, ecosystem preservation. For instance, agroforestry in Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere country requires that we reintroduce trees in large cultivated areas, 60 million hectares in Europe, but this has provided some very good results, although it doesn't decrease the cereal yield, but it improves the uh, wood yield, sometimes with precious uh, types of wood that can be sold, and this provides uh, also uh, a combination with other kinds of uh, vegetal coverage association between two types of culture, cultivations, and this will be a stake for sciences and research sciences in the future for two reasons. First, because we're going to use the local conditions. Industrial agriculture was based on a very prescriptive type of uh, agriculture. 
It was finding the right variety and uh, compensating for limiting factors with inputs such as uh, irrigation or pesticides or fertilizers, whereas now we're going to have to use the locally available capital assets and resources and the locally available biodiversity. And the local context will be uh, useful if we have a much longer term vision. Over the years, we will try and improve the uh, ecosystemic uh, wealth of the soil and the natural environment so that we can fight against degradation of the ecosystems to do the contrary, improve the ecosystems, gain something in terms of uh, biodiversity and ecosystems. But it, we're talking about changing agriculture. This will not be done overnight. There is no magic wand. Biodiversity will play an essential role, but the new type of agriculture will be very rich in terms of knowledge, know-how, technology. We're going to have to do some research because a lot is not yet known or understood. And we also will have to improve the knowledge of the producers and their local environment and the locally available resources.